Clinton and Maxwell's mile high love affair. Hillary's hubby and Epstein madam flew around the globe. Welcome to the Holly Fake Entertainment Channel tonight. Horn dog Bill Clinton took secret trips with pedophile Jeffrey Epstein's accused madam, Ghislaine Maxwell, sharing private jets and a hotel for secluded trysts in India, China, Japan, and Taiwan, according to shocking new reports. While the former president has claimed just four trips on the convicted sex fiend's flying bordello, the Lolita Express logs show that he flew on Epstein's private plane 27 times, investigators claim. At least three trips in 2002, 2003, and 2005 were with Ghislaine, now in a Brooklyn, New York slammer, charged with sex trafficking minors for Epstein's pleasure. In 2002, Clinton flew with Ghislaine and Epstein, who hanged himself in a federal prison cell while awaiting trial for sex trafficking in 2019, to Africa for the Clinton Foundation charity. Globe revealed a photo of Bill getting a shoulder massage from one of Epstein's sex victims at an airport lounge during a stop. The following year, Ghislaine, then 40, was part of Bill's 20-person entourage to campaign for lower costs of AIDS drugs in India, where they shared the same hotel in an under-the-radar tryst, according to sources. In 2005, the pair flew on the Lolita Express to Japan, Taiwan, and China, say sources. While Epstein is believed to have amassed a fortune by blackmailing rich pals with videos and photos of them frolicking with his harem of teen massage girls, Bill was attracted to older British socialite Ghislaine. Bill and Ghislaine were getting it on. That's why he was around Epstein, to be with her, claims a source in the book A Convenient Death, The Mysterious Demise of Jeffrey Epstein. Other sources believe that Ghislaine was key to wheedling money out of Epstein for the Clinton Foundation, which would have given the womanizing politico a good reason to invite her on the trips. Sources believe that Epstein ordered Ghislaine to bed Bill or to get him into some sort of compromising position. Epstein would have told Ghislaine to seduce him, says a source, and we know that Bill would have fallen for it and she would have collected evidence of some sort. She was too good an operative to let something like that go. Clinton and Epstein's relationship was mutually beneficial and destructive. Epstein got to wallow in the glow of being around Clinton, and Bill got the money for his foundation, and it appears he got access to women, says the source. Both had everything to lose if one ratted out the other. Meanwhile, Hillary would turn a blind eye to her husband's dalliances as long as he didn't tarnish her career as a New York senator from 2001 to 2009, and later President Barack Obama's Secretary of State, insiders say. Hillary's power would also be valuable for Epstein as the FBI closed in on his recruiting of underage girls for sexual massages in Florida around 2005. I'm sure Epstein would have been counting on his connection to the Clintons to get him out of any scrapes, and he'd use that leverage, says the source. With his team of high-powered lawyers and influential people, Epstein made to secure a sweetheart deal to drop all the severe federal charges and settle for two misdemeanor counts of soliciting a 14-year-old girl for sex. There is no suggestion the Clintons were aware of Epstein's actions or in any way involved with his deal, but he still tossed around their name. Bill has always insisted he never was involved with Epstein's teen harem or broke any laws. Ghislaine also insists that she's innocent of all charges. After Epstein was convicted and sentenced to 13 months behind bars in 2008, the Clintons distanced themselves from the child molester. How do you see the news in this video? Let us know what you think and we can discuss. If you think the video is good, please like and share it with your friends. We will constantly update the latest news in the next video. Please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Thank you and goodbye.